12 News is your local election headquarters and two Republicans are hoping to turn one of Rhode Island's U.S. Senate seats red this fall. Joining me now is one of them, State Representative Patricia Morgan. Thanks for being here. Well, thank you for having me. So yesterday we had your Republican primary opponent, Ray McKay, here in studio. You're both hoping to replace Senator Sheldon Whitehouse in the U.S. Senate. For folks who might not be familiar with you, why do you think you're uniquely suited for this job? Um, I think I think most people know that I just finished my 12th year in the General Assembly. Um, I honestly, I'm a policy wonk. I honestly do understand what the, what what the effect of policies are on average people, um, the the middle class out there. And this year, it occurred to me, as I was sitting there, that most of the really bad policies that are really hurting the middle class and the working class folks in our state are coming from Washington. Mm. So if I really want to make a difference in their lives, that's where I have to go. So if you are sent to D.C. by the voters of Rhode Island, what's one of your first orders of business when you get there? Uh, well, there's a couple of orders <laughs> of business, but, but certainly one is to tackle the budget. Mm. We're spending, the federal government is spending 40 percent more than it takes in. Try that in your house, <laughs> right? You wouldn't last very long, and we won't either if we keep spending at that level. Mm -hmm. So I think we have to prioritize our spending. You know, take the money that we have and put it on the things that are really, really important, and and kind of use this this as the as the screen. Is this program worth borrowing money from our adversaries for? Mm -hmm. And if it isn't, then we shouldn't fund it. I want to ask you about Vice President Kamala Harris's proposal to help first-time homeowners uh, with the $25,000. You had a similar proposal I did. Um, earlier this year. So what do you think about the Vice President's well, proposal? Well, mine was different. Um, mine actually, you know, here in, in Rhode Island, we've already um, given $350 million to affordable housing. Mm -hmm. That is basically government-subsidized housing. I wanted to take a portion of that and use it um, to, to keep the American dream alive. I called it the American Dream Act. There's a lot of folks um, about your age, <laughs> maybe a little younger, who are still living in their childhood bedroom. Mm. And they've given up on the American dream. They don't think that they'll ever be able to have a home. And, and instead of just giving the money all to subsidized housing, I thought we ought to, to allow them to, to at least reach for the home ownership. And just quickly, we've got about 30 seconds left. What sets you apart from your Republican primary opponent? I have a political base, uh, seriously, and I've raised a lot more money. But my political base is really important. I've been in the General Assembly for 12 years, and I've taken on some very important statewide issues, like truck tolls. I was the loudest voice against truck tolls. So there's um, it, about, uh, before I even began, about 40% of the people in the state already knew who I was. That's important. Uh, you can't go from having nobody know you to wanting this, the top spot. It, it doesn't work that way in politics. All right, State Representative Patricia Morgan, this is all the time that we have, but thanks so much for being here. Okay, thank you.